Hello and welcome to the channel where I explain all things insulation in the attic. If it's the first time on this channel, welcome. My name is Josh and I am an attic insulator by trade for the past three years. I post one video a week, trying for every Tuesday. If you have any questions about attic insulation or would like to see specific topics included in future videos, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like what you see, please click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In this video, we'll be comparing the performance of two hoses I use during my attic installations, the three inch hose and the four inch hose. Question is, does one inch make that much of a difference? For a how-to video on attic insulation, check out the video above. All right, let's start this comparison. Enjoy. In every attic, you want to begin at the edges and then work backwards towards the attic entrance. At the 4 inch hose, you will notice I make a line with the blowing material against the outer wall. I did want to mention that we are installing an R60 for both cases, which is 22 and a quarter depth of material installed. The 4 inch hose is already done one end and we're moving across to the opposite edge, fixing the displaced bats as we go. And finally, the three inch hose is starting on the other edge, trying to catch up. You'll notice I tried to keep a low profile, that's the best way to install the blowing insulation. You will notice I install the material facing the cavities between the trusses, making sure the insulation crosses the trusses at the same spot. And now the foreign shows it's making its way to the center of the attic. Now the foreign chose is moving to the attic hatch making finishing touches and double checking depth of insulation. Winner! I guess one inch does make a difference. From my experience, the 4-inch hose installs the material twice as fast, but is more difficult to handle. I hope you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe and click on the next video.